Welcome to part number eight of uh, how to make POS system in Microsoft Access. And uh, in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make login form. In previous video, if you haven't watched, uh, by the way, there are seven videos already uploaded in this series. So if you haven't watched those, please go ahead and do that. And uh, in last video, we have created this order form. Well, it's not final finalized order form as i mentioned in the previous video as well um, but it's kind of structure that we have uh, in place so when we are doing the vb coding then of course after the vb coding is done or during the vb coding we will make certain changes and we'll make uh, changes in color combination etc um, but today i'm going to demonstrate how to create login form well, of course, it's just making the structure. Still, we are on the making the structure. After the structure is completed, structure means the forms structure. And after the all the forms are created, then definitely we are going to go with VBA coding, VBA programming, and we'll put some logics behind it so the buttons and the objects can work. But uh, let's go and uh, let's go ahead and create the login form. And to do that, we will uh, go to the create button in the ribbon, and I will click on form design. And uh, the first thing I would like to do is to increase the size of this form a little bit. So it is going to be the similar kind of concept like we have done for the previous form, this order form, and uh, it should open in full screen should be model should be pop up and uh, that's what we are looking for anyway so let's create the let's have the form header and footers all right we'll decrease that and well, this as well we'll decrease a little bit height of it right uh, okay this is right now if i'll go to the form view I'll see that there is a record selector, there's a navigation bar. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. And to do that, we'll go to the format in the property sheet. And I will turn off the record selector. I will turn off the navigation button. And I will uh, scroll bars because this is a single form. So for single forms, usually we don't need the scroll bar. So we will turn these off as well. And now if I'll go, uh, oops, okay, let's save the form also. So we'll keep the name login F, F stands for form, right click here and form view. And we don't have record selector, we don't have the uh, scroll bars or the navigation button. So right click design view again, but I want this form to be popped up. I want this form to be in modal. So to do that, we will go to the property sheet of this form and I'll click on other and pop up should be yes, model should be yes, right? So now if I'll go and click on form view and yes, we have our form popped up, right? And it is model as well. We can see that, but I have to maximize it by myself. Well, that's what I don't want. What I want whenever somebody double clicks it or whenever somebody opens the application first time, the first thing uh, they should see is the login form, but they should see it in a maximized condition like the way you are looking at right now. So let's go ahead and do that. And to do that, we have to uh, write a small code, one liner code. So we'll go to the event tab. We'll, we'll make sure that we have selected the form by clicking on this corner. We'll go to the property sheet event tab and on load event. So we'll click on ellipsis and I'll go to the code builder. And in here, we will write a code to CMD dot maximize. In other words, we are giving instruction to Microsoft Access that whenever this form opens, it should be open in the maximized position. So let's double click on that and we can verify that uh, uh, we have this form opened in the maximized condition. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to change the caption 
I would like to change the background color. I would like to have two text boxes. One is for user form, one is for password. I would like to have two buttons. One is for login, one is for cancel. And that's what we are going to see. And I'm going to demonstrate. You just sit, relax and watch. Uh, please watch full video as well. So let's go ahead and change the caption. So by clicking on the corner, we'll select the form and we'll click on format in the property sheet. And in here, we'll put the caption here. So let's say I will type in welcome to welcome to next grocery database. It's just a random name. I know it's not really professional, but hey, who cares? Let's go to the category form because I want to get the uh, the the back color code, the same back color code because that should be the same. And we will paste here. Here we go. Let's close this form and let's go to the form view for this form. And we have our caption changed. Welcome to next grocery database and we have the color change as well, All right? Now let's go ahead and create two buttons, two uh, text boxes. Let's right click design view. To do that, we'll go to the design tab in the ribbon. We'll grab a button. Uh, first, let's, um, let's, 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 let's have a text box instead of buttons. Buttons will do it later. We will deal with them later. In here, I would like to have user ID and let's decrease the size of it. All right, let's increase the width of it. All right. And next, what I would like to do is, oh my God, this access. All right, so let's change the color, the font color full black let's make this label as bold and let's change the height to 0 0.7 centimeter right and therefore we need to change the top margin as well to 0 0.06 centimeter or 0 0.07 centimeter yeah that would be nice let's go ahead and copy the same text box and label box and let's change the label and let's give a name password right cool let's increase the width of this a width of this let's right click in here and we will stack them so they look exactly the same size right now i would like to have two buttons one for login one for cancel let's go ahead and do that by clicking on design grab a button all right and we'll cancel this we don't want so first button is for login now let's go ahead and change the uh, shape to rectangle change the style to this let's make the font full black bold and i would like to have an icon let's have a key icon so to have an icon along with the text. Let's go to the property sheet of the button and under format, we'll go to the picture. I'll click on ellipsis and I'll type search for key. So I'll press K, letter K on my keyboard. We get the uh, key. Okay. Now I would like to change this option picture caption arrangement. So at the moment, no picture caption. So let's go ahead and make it as journal because I want text and the key as well at the same time. Now this is done. What I would like to do now is to change the height of it. Because this button looks like, uh, doesn't look good according to me. So I would like to have the, in fact, I would like to have the same height of this as of this text boxes. So 0 0.7 mm, no, I'm 0.7 cm centimeter and um, but let's change the width of it perhaps now we have a login button here now let's make a copy of it 
and i would like to have a cancel button now why cancel button well if in case um from this screen somebody would like to exit the database they, sh they should have option to exit it or in case if they don't remember the password so they can exit the database from here itself so let's change it to cancel i would like to change this uh, icon as well from key to let's say something like cancel something like cross so i'll press c letter on my keyboard and uh, we will keep pressing until we get a little cross this and also because this is a cancel button so let's change the back color so we'll uh, shape outline we will make it red this is part of the user interface right so user user should know something is red that means it's going to be something like exit or cancel or something right now if i will go to the form view let's have a look oh nice so we have a user id we have a password let's pull this buttons little down right another thing i would like to do because at the moment um, if i'll type password here it is showing the password that's a security breach so let's go ahead and convert these characters into the asterisk sign and to do that i'll select the text box so i'll go to the data tab i'll go to the uh, data tab off the property sheet i'll go to the input mask i'll click on ellipsis and then i'll choose the password and i'll click on finish that is it job done let's pull them down right click save and form view there we go we have asterisk instead of instead of the characters or alphabets or numbers whatever the password is set for so that is done now it looks a little bit okay but one important step we are still forgetting let's go go back to the design view and that is giving the name of each each of these element and that's very important so this text box is for user ids therefore we'll give a text box name as txt user id this text box will give a name txt password this button because this is a button so we'll, it should start with btn which is short form of button btn login and in here btn cancel so that's the uh, that's this is very important step so do not forget about it okay so form is ready uh, but it looks a little blank it looks a little boring uh, well we can have a picture perhaps in the center how about that so let's go to the design view let's go to the design tab in the ribbon and i'll click on insert image i'll click on browse and I will navigate in my system wherever the picture is located. This is a picture I took from the Google, the great Google. And let's put it somewhere here. Let's go to the form view and let's see. Nice. So we have a picture. We have two text boxes for user ID and password, two buttons for login and canceling it. We have a nice header and our login form is completed right almost well according to me because i like simplicity this is a simple login form and uh, i hope people uh, would prefer it or if you wish to make it a little bit more modernized or color combination should be changed that is up to you my job was to demonstrate the how to create a structure of a login form and to demonstrate to you i hope to have, that you have learned something and um, if you have uh, please smash the like button if you like the video please do let me know in the comments below uh, how did you find this video whether this video is helpful or not if you haven't subscribed yet please go ahead and do that subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video this is it for today 
i will see you in the next one until then take care bye bye